Hey, how's it going? Yankees fans, this is Felix from NYYNews.com. All knock on one stops. So, an individual that appears on the Yes Network, Forbes Sports, Mike Ozanian, he sent out a tweet saying that Doorman saying Jacoby Ellsbury has vacated his NYC apartment. So what does this mean? This means that obviously Mike lives in the same building or knows somebody that lives in the building. Why is Mike Ozanian a credible source? Because like I said, he appears on the Yes Network. He's known, and I'm pretty sure a money guy is not going to tell you something that's incorrect. He's in the business of money. So, again, what does this mean? The only way Jacoby Ellsbury would vacate his apartment in Manhattan, one reason being he might have gotten another apartment, which is not possible. Or another reason is that he's on his way to Arizona. Arizona for spring training, maybe he's moving to a NO or AO West team, but like I said, I've been forecasting on this channel and on my website that there's a high possibility Jacoby Ellsbury will be moved to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Why? Because the Yankees have a lot of pieces the Diamondbacks would love, like a closer for an example. So, again, analyzing this, the only way Jacoby Ellsbury would move his stuff this fast is if he has a move-in ready house or apartment. Like I said, high possibility that it's his house in Arizona. Another tweet, somebody said that Jacoby Ellsbury was spotted at the airport going to Arizona. I don't believe it, but I'm pretty sure that's possible. So, if it's true that he's going back to Arizona, it seems that Cashman has told Jacoby Ellsbury that he is going to be moved. And he told them this a while ago, maybe a week ago. We all know Jacoby Ellsbury being moved to another team from the Yankees was inevitable. The question now is, is Brett Gardner going to have the same fate as Jacoby Ellsbury? Like I said, I was reading some comments about John Carlos Stanton being guaranteed a left field position full time and DHing once in a while. People were like, no, he's our full time DH. He's going to rotate with Aaron Judge. I mean, really? Just think about it. You traded for a player that is going to make close to $32 million a year if he doesn't opt out of his contract. Let's say if he has a subpar year. You think he's going to opt out of getting paid $32 million a year? No, I, no, I highly doubt that. So, make him be worth the money that he signed for. You're not going to have a DH making $32 million a year. Do you understand how stupid that sounds? It sounds ridiculous. For that, it was just a better alternative to sign a player for like $5 million or $11 million just to DH for you. I mean, $32 million, that's just laughable, folks. So, um, yeah, this Jacoby Ellsbury thing looks like it's gaining steam, looks like he's out of New York soon, or already out of New York, literally. And um, it was just unfortunate, man, that he couldn't live up to his contract. That really was another ridiculous contract. This is why I say get the most you can out of John Carlos Stanton. Also, I saw a few butthurt or triggered comments about stop talking about Manny Machado. Some troll keeps subscribing to my channel and being just racist as hell. And I'm telling him, yo, there's children subscribed to this channel. Cut it out with that. So if you see comments like that and I'm not around, make sure you flag it or just ignore it. These people don't take children into consideration, which is horrible. So... Like I said about Manny Machado, if Ellsbury has been shipped or there's a possible trade on the horizon, like I said, look out for the Diamondbacks to be the front runners for a Jacoby Ellsbury. They're not just only going to get Jacoby Ellsbury, they also are going to get a closer or another prospect from the Yankees or a three-way team like the Orioles. This has been exciting news for the people that want to see Jacoby Ellsbury shipped out of New York. 
This also opens the possibility of Brett Gardner being shipped out of New York as well. Because like I said, you're not going to pay a player $25 million, $29 million, $32 million to be your DH. That's laughable, folks. And people keep saying, oh, he's too tall, he's too big. I mean, really? Are these guys professional sports athletes or little babies? People are making it seem like these guys are so injury prone that they're going to end up in a wheelchair. But I mean, if you're making $32 million a year, I mean, really? You're going to bat, just bat, and appear four times in a game? I highly doubt it. Also, the U Darvish situation. There's talk out there picking up again about U Darvish coming to the Yankees or possibly another team like the Cubs or Dodgers. But. It has been said that the Cashman, Brian Cashman, is in high pursuit of Hugh Darvish. So we might see a Hugh Darvish signing and then Ellsbury along with a closer or Brett Garner being shipped out of New York. It's just going to happen regardless. The only reason why Ellsbury would be shipped out of New York in the first place would be because they are acquiring a starting picture via free agency or something else. But... High possibility that they are front runners for you, Darvish. So there you have it. This has been Felix from MYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. Like I keep saying, I will bring the news to you first. I'm all on it. I hear things on Twitter, other underground websites, other sources, etc. You will hear it first from me. Make sure you subscribe to my Twitter and get it before anybody else gets it.